When will we reach Granny's house, Dad? Another couple of hours, JC. Before that, we will stop somewhere and grab a bite. I am not hungry. I think I will go for a walk while you guys eat. Wow, such a lovely field. Oh, there's a farmer. I'll go and say hello. Hello, I'm JC. That is a lot of hard work you are doing. Yes, it is. I have to dig a pit by tonight. Why don't you use a lighter spade, like the one I use at home? It's made of plastic. Plastic? Ha 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 ha! That is not strong enough to dig this hard earth. Then what is this spade made of? This is made of iron. All our implements are made of iron. Come, I will tell you the story of iron. It was nearly three thousand years ago that people in this part of the world began using iron to make implements. And how do we know that? Because a lot of iron tools have been found in megalithic burials that are around three thousand years old. I see. So ever since then, iron was used to make tools. Scientists have found. Lots of tools that are twenty-five hundred years old, which means that use of iron implements increased with time. What all did they use iron tools for? Iron axes were used to chop wood and clear the forest, and iron plowshares helped to till the fields and increase production. Enough rest. Time to get back to work. Can I walk around your fields? Sure. Ooh, a scarecrow, Mr. Scarecrow! Here I come. Let's have a chat. You have disturbed me. I was carrying away the crows to help the farmer. And hey, stop pulling my arm out. Sorry, you sound as if you're doing a very important job, Mr. Scarecrow. Yes, I am. Er, uh, uh, maybe after irrigation. Yeah, I think irrigating the crop comes first, and scaring crows a very close second. Irrigation. Yes, irrigation means watering the plants. Different ways of irrigation have been developed by farmers since very early times. What ways? Oh, they dug up wells and stored water in tanks and canals. They even made artificial lakes. Now run along, boy, and let me work. I can see a flock of annoying birds coming to eat the young paddy. But I want to know more about how man started farming. Go ask the banyan tree. He knows a lot. I want to know how men started settling down. I hope the banyan can tell me. Hello, banyan tree. I want to ask you about how men became farmers and settled down. Ah. Uh... I am very old, and I know a lot about early man. I'll even tell you who these men were. Wow! Let's begin. Can I climb up this branch and sit on it while you tell me stuff? Hop on. You know, JC, there are three kinds of people living in villages in India. Three kinds. What do you mean? Yes, people who lived in villages in the north and south were different. The headman of the villages in the north was called Gram Bojak. He was the largest land owner. So he was the boss. Yes, he had slaves and hired workers to work in the fields. So no one else owned any land besides Gram Bhojak. No, there were other independent farmers who did own small pieces of land. They were called Grihapatis. What about those who didn't own land? What did they do? Men and women who didn't own land were called Das and Karmkar. 
they worked on others lands and what about the villages in south india oh they were slightly different in the tamil region the land owners were known as vellalars boy be careful you can fall i'm okay i can balance myself so tell me the vellalars were the bosses here yes you could say that ordinary farmers called usavars worked for them the landless laborers and slaves were called kadaisars and adaimai okay banyan tree i better be off thank you for telling me so much and letting me play on your branches it was a pleasure do come and see me if you pass by again dad who is the headman of a city does he own land and have slaves which era are you talking about son those people existed hundreds of years ago we have mayors and ministers now not headmen we really have come a long way